This guest is a former member of Chicago's Second City and Annoyance Theater. Starting tomorrow, he can be seen in Rock of Ages and next Friday in Seeking a Friend for the End of the World with Steve Carell. Please welcome the very funny T.J. Miller. <laughs> What up then, Chi Town 312? It's good to be back. Yeah. Oh, God. Sorry, I just scratched my chin like this. Look like an insult. You gotta be a pretty cold hearted, empty individual not to tear up even just a little bit at the end of a romantic comedy, you know, when the guy gets the girl. And I started to tear up and I turned to my girlfriend who was with me at the time, you know, because I wanted to say thank you. Thank you for loving me and accepting me and letting me believe that true love can be real. <laughs> but as I turned to her before I could say anything, she just held up a calzone that she had bought early at Sabaro's, and she said, doesn't this look like a double vagina? Are you crying? What were you about to say? And I just said, nothing. The top part looks more like a butt. I like that guy's laugh. <laughs> like a jack in the box that comes out and then immediately stabs you. <laughs> I'm not making fun of your laugh, by the way. I would never do that, you know? You ever had somebody make fun of the way that you laugh? A friend of yours make fun of the way that you laugh? Do you know that's basically them saying? That's basically your friend saying, hey, you know that sound that you make when you're happy and joyful? And the tragedy that permeates our everyday life is momentarily abated for an escapist oasis? Yeah, you sound stupid. You should feel insecure when you're happy. You should be like, hi, everything's okay for a second. Wait, do I sound like a seal? I'd like to do a couple of characters for you guys. This first character. This is a guy who, whenever he's surprised by something, instead of doing a double take, he does a triple take. But the third take comes just a little too late. <laughs> Hold on, you paid how much for that cereal? <laughs> yeah, that's it. This next character, this is a fraternity brother who's giving a eulogy for the first time. Melissa was really cool. <laughs> Melissa was super awesome and a ton of fun. <laughs> Melissa always said that society tried to put us in our respective boxes and restrict us, but the cool thing about Melissa was she always said that her box was big enough for everybody. That's what she said, that's what she said. <laughs> I did come up in the Chicago scene, and so to close my set, I would like to eat two Italian beef sandwiches in exactly one minute. So these are Italian beef, thank you so much. You handed them to me like I was a sensei. Um, so these are Italian beef sandwiches. They are a delicacy here in Chicago. These are from Portillo's, a Chicago man. Yeah, yes, 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 yeah, 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 yes, yes, yes. So uh, I, I, I'm gonna eat these uh, in exactly one minute. Uh, can I have a clock? Whoa. <laughs> TBS. Okay, now when I say go, not yet, but when I say that, we're gonna start the clock. Okay, ready, set, go. You know what? I did, I ate Indian food before I came. I don't know why I did that. I'm such an idiot, I saw Indian food, I was like, well, I'll just have an appetizer or two. And I go in there, what are you gonna do, order apps and not get a main course? It was that naan, too. Have you had that? <laughs> you guys had that naan? I mean, it is delicious. It's like bread, but better. How much time do I have? 
Oh, shoot. Okay, here we go. Incredible!